Yesterday, the third meeting of the European political community took place in Granada, Spain, amongst which Croatian MEP Mislav Kolakosic took a major dig at the Western media firms like CNN, Reuters, Associated Press, and Deutsche Welle by asking to declare them as terrorist organizations. Yeah, that CNN, Reuters, Associated Press, Deutsche Welle, and similar media fanatics and Taliban proclaim terrorist organizations. He further stated that these media fanatics and media Taliban spread an enormous amount of fake news and hatred. Well, the situation sounds quite similar to the recent raids that occurred at the NewsClick office and journalists' home who were accused of using Chinese funding to further the anti-India narrative and peddle Chinese propaganda. China has been creating this web of influencing media abroad to further their narrative. But now, after the stern measure that India took in snuffing out Chinese propagandists in India, now even the Western nations have geared up to dislodge such anti-nationalists. So to tell you, Germany's state-owned media, Deutsche Welle, has also been accused of publishing pro-Chinese articles. During the Indochina border clash, DW published misleading information like accusing India of provoking the clash by building infrastructure within the boundaries of China. UK-based news agency Reuters has been doing a similar propaganda where once in 2021, they published a report titled After Covid Search, Some Signs of Internal Dissent Against India's Modi. In this report, Reuters claimed that the ordinary workers in BJP were dissatisfied with the center's handling of Covid-19. But this fake news was fact-checked by a BJP worker, Govind Pasi, who clarified that he continues to be loyal towards his party and that it was CNN which offered him sort of benefits in lieu of his statements. And in fact, they twisted them to show dissidents against PM Modi. Next comes US-based media firm CNN which has this whole history of narrating misleading and false claims on pandemic and forced wars. For example, when CNN was covering the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, it played Applebee's commercial featuring the upbeat song Chicken Fried in a split commercial break along with the war coverage. It was heavily criticized by Applebee, who in fact pulled out its advertising from CNN. In fact, last month only PIB debunked a false claim by CNN, which claimed that the government's demolition drive ahead of the G20 summit in New Delhi has left thousands of Delhi residents homeless. PIB then clarified that the removal of encroachments are in compliance with orders that were passed by the Supreme Court. Now coming to another US-based media, Associated Press. So AP has also been accused of reporting misleading news during the 2021 Islamist attack on Hindu temple in Pakistan. Despite the several incidents of atrocities on minorities in Pakistan, AP claimed that Muslims and Hindus live peacefully in Pakistan. So while well, journalism and media should be used as a platform to report the facts and not twisted details. When the media adheres to a particular ideology, it should at least be honest enough to not call itself independent media. After all, the one with a chip on their shoulder, crying horse over speaking the truth to the power should at least be truthful about their own allegiance. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel, The Pamphlet.